Hello, welcome to Fellowship Friday. Today is Friday, June 20th, 2020. No, June 19th, 2020. Ugh. I can already tell you how my day is starting. So here we go. This is from Jesus Calling. It says, I am the firm foundation on which you can dance, sing, and celebrate. Remember that no matter what happens to you today, no matter what happens in this life, that the Lord is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And that we have to celebrate in his presence. And don't forget that. It says, this is my high and holy calling for you. And receive it as a precious gift. Glorifying and enjoying me is a higher priority than maintaining a tidy, structured life. Give up striving to have a tidy, structured life. And you know what? The Lord tells us that he needs to be the priority in our life. And so many things just fight for our attention. You know, our children and our spouses, and our parents, and our jobs, and our laundry, and grocery shopping, and cooking, and cleaning, and maintaining, and yard work, and flowers, and there's just so many things that are fighting for our attention, and sometimes it's the easiest thing to miss out on our time with the Lord, but he says that spending time in his presence and enjoying him is the most important thing. In fact, he says, trying to handle all the aspects of your life without him is a complete waste of energy. My guidance for each of my children is unique. So remember that the path of your life is unique to you. My path is unique to me. We can't compare our paths with each other. So that is why listening to me is so vital for your well-being. Let me prepare you for the day that awaits you and point you in the right direction. I think that's important to remember is that we need to grab onto the Lord right away in the morning and just have him point us in the right directions because we know that there will be hardships. There will be things that happen to, throughout this day that we can't control, but grab onto the Lord. He will lead us in the right direction. As though it stops you, it can't harm you as long as you cling to my hand. And you know what? As we're trying to get through this day and the demands are falling upon us, he says, no matter what, hang on to my hand. Uh, and he will keep us safe. It says, keep your eyes on me, enjoying peace in my presence. And I think that's one of the most important things is that even when life is difficult, even when there are hardships, so the way that we turn our mind from spiraling out of control is by praising the Lord for who he is, for what he is, what our promises are with eternal life, and um, for all the many beautiful blessings he has given us. So with that, be kind, get more, stay humble, shine God's love and light on all you meet. Have an amazing weekend.